create something new, create something exciting. Music is supposed to sound exciting. And when you are in a concert as a listener, you want to be excited, you want to be interested, you want to be surprised. And this is what this is all about. Create surprises, create effects. Think about an exciting story and how you want to tell it through music. Hi everyone, this is Danai and in today's video I want to share one very simple and very quick tip with all of you that is going to make your interpretation instantly sound more musical. It is something that sounds almost too simple when you say it out loud, but it is incredibly effective and it's going to instantly make your interpretation sound more convincing and more thought through when you apply it. The tip is when music repeats itself, never play the same thing twice. When you look at the structure of a piece, for example, very often you have a phrase that repeats itself. Let's say four bars and then the same four bars. And those second four bars should not sound exactly the same as the first four bars. Even if you found a very convincing phrasing, you know exactly what you want to do, I would recommend to have something slightly different in that second set of four bars. For example, you could play it like an echo, have it sound way more piano, way more silent, or you could have it like kind of a question answer thing. So maybe the first four bars can sound kind of like a question and a little bit unsure and end on a note that goes up, while the second set of four bars can sound very convincing, very sure and kind of like an exclamation. So these are just two very obvious examples of what you can do in order to differentiate two same phrases. Then another example of don't do the same thing twice is, for example, in a sonata, when you have the exposition and then the recap when it comes again. Usually it's not in the different key, but of course the theme is the same. And there again, I try to find spots, very specific spots, where I deliberately do something very differently than the way I did it in the exposition. So I go to the recap and maybe one chord that stands out that in the exposition I played it, for example, very positive. In the recap, I might play it maybe with a little more doubt or with a little question mark or maybe hold it a little longer, do a little fermata on it. There are countless, infinite things that you can do. But the, the most important thing is do it. Definitely differentiate between things that come up in the piece multiple times. Another thing to think about within that subject is that a forte doesn't equal a forte and a piano does not equal a piano. And what I want to say with that is that if in a piece you have one forte in one place and then forte in another place, it doesn't mean that those two fortes have to be played exactly the same. Dynamics are always within a context. So if you have a piano, let's stay with that sonata example, in an exposition, it could be, for example, a piano that is exciting, full of expectation and maybe a little bit of anticipation. And then let's say that you have a piano that is in the development. This can be a piano that is very doubtful. It can be a piano that is maybe a little sad or melancholic. So again, with dynamics also, don't think that if you found one convincing way of interpreting the dynamic in that same piece or maybe maybe even in that same movement that that goes for every single place when you see it always put dynamics and and everything phrases into the context of the entire piece because the same exact note can mean something completely different if it comes up later on in the piece or in the middle or in the beginning or in a different harmony. So always keep in mind the, the whole picture of the piece. This tip also goes back to Mozart's father, Leopold Mozart, who in his book about violin playing writes that any note that follows one should not sound like the one before. So when you have a musical phrase, each note should sound a little different. 
of course this is not completely the same as what I what I was talking about which is that when music repeats itself do not play the same thing twice but I still find it interesting to mention that tip um, that Leopold Mozart wrote about in his book because I think that it is kind of connected and it reminds us to always try to create something new, create something exciting. Music is supposed to sound exciting and when you are in a concert as a listener, you want to be excited, you want to be interested, you want to be surprised and this is what this is all about. Create surprises, create effects. Think about an exciting story and how you want to tell it through music. Another way that you can differentiate musical phrases is by changing the articulation. You could play one with a beautiful legato and the other one with a kind of portato feeling or maybe almost a scherzando staccato. There are countless things that you can do. And I think that when you remember that tip, which let me say it once again, is that when music repeats itself, do not play the same thing twice. That this really is the key to many ideas, many inspiring interpretations, many interesting interpretations, and it is the key to creating an interpretation that is going to make the listener listen and is going to make the listener be excited about what's going to come next. Because once they've heard something, they already know it. They don't want to hear that exact thing again they want to hear something else so keep it interesting by doing that and at least for me personally this was a very helpful tip and continues to be one and one that I really consciously try to remind myself again and again to keep doing it sometimes when I'm practicing and I feel like I'm somehow not getting anywhere with that interpretation I think of okay maybe it just sounds too similar and then it really helps me to go back into the piece and think about, okay, what can I change up in those similar sounding phrases or in those similar sounding harmonies or in those similar dynamics and anything that is very similar to each other or the same, how to differentiate it and make it sound more convincing. I really hope that you found this tip helpful and that it's going to help you as much as it helps me. Let me know what you think about this or if you have anything else to add to it and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.